Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am She Networks. This is an HPE networking instant on Access Point AP27, and this is a bucket of water. Just like make sure I really, really just really get it in there. I probably should have tested this before the video. Um, but this will be like a learning experience together. So uh, yeah, let's let's get into it. <laughs> let's get this dry. We could get this dry. That would be a good start. And then we're gonna see if it actually still works. And if not, well, I'm going to have to <laughs> send an email and then explain to them this whole fiasco of why they sent me an access point and why I dumped it in a bucket of water. So let's just keep our fingers crossed in this uh, moment. We have the access point here. As you can see, there is a mounting piece on the back and I do have a mounting plate around here somewhere. So here we go. We're gonna go through mounting this bad boy. But first, we're gonna need to see if if he still powers on. So we're just unscrewing the bottom guy right here and we see the ethernet port. This is power over ethernet. I am using a PoE injector for this video and uh, I haven't actually used that yet either. I'm a master procrastinator, obviously. That's why we're all here so late. I have my ethernet cable. Let's, let's just give it a go. All right, it is plugged in. I don't hear anything. And I don't know if there's a light that is going to indicate that it is actually broadcasting. Let me look at my phone and see if I can see it. I also haven't set that up yet. So the first thing it's gonna ask you to do is create an account or sign in. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new account. Once your account is created, it's going to ask you to verify your email address. That's easy peasy. And once you've confirmed, you will get the next little screen here that says no sites registered. There are no instant on sites currently registered for this account. To register a site, you must configure an instant on device in its factory default state when prompted during the initial setup, you can set it up by clicking the button. Instant on accounts with no registered site may be automatically deleted after some time. So I do have an instant on device. It is right here. Let's see if we can get it all configured. Create a site. What are we going to identify this site as? We're going to identify this site as the outdoor patio space. This specific access point is intended to be used outdoors, hence the bucket of water. We're gonna dive into that a little bit later on in this video, but first we're gonna set up our site. I'm just gonna put patio and it'll ask you to type in the serial number of the connected device and that is top secret. I'm not showing that in the video, obviously. Okay, it says searching and now I'm nervous because I don't entirely know if uh, this is gonna turn on. It could be the power over ethernet, maybe it's underpowered, or it could be maybe be dumping it in a bucket of water. Jury's still out on that. I'm not entirely sure. Probably the PoE thing though, I'm going to assume, right? I went and reseated both of the ethernet cables that are connected to my power over ethernet injector. And it turns out this guy does have a light. How about that? Now I'm gonna go back and try and recreate my site now that I know that this bad boy is powered on. And we have found it. My AP27 did populate in this list. I'm gonna go ahead and hit add device. And it says, select the main function of this device. It is an access point. There is an option that says primary Wi-Fi router, but we are not doing that in this video. We're just gonna be using this as an access point for our outdoor space. It did pull up a dashboard. Now that our site is created, we can see our device on here. It says devices online zero out of one because we haven't really fully configured this yet. And then also it's gonna have a little health dashboard. We are at 100%, which is pretty good considering we just dumped this in a bucket of water before we plugged it in. That is because this access point is IP67 rated, meaning it was designed for rugged outdoor use. It's meant to sustain wind and dust and temperatures from negative 40 all the way to 140 degrees degrees Fahrenheit, which is great for someone like me who lives in Texas because it gets really hot out here, especially if you are directly in the sun. So you can leave this access point out all year round or even drop it in a bucket of water for up to 30 minutes. Personally, I don't know why anyone would do that, but if you did, 
You, you could do that. This access point is a part of HP's larger instant on series of enterprise grade networking devices. It was designed for small and growing businesses because small and growing businesses have different needs than home networks or larger enterprise scale networks, especially when it comes to providing secure networking to the public on more limited resources, right? So I started off my career as a network engineer, primarily focused on large scale data centers. And a problem that small businesses face is they usually can't hire on a full-time network engineer and they don't need large scale data centers. They need something that's easy to use and easy to scale, which is what the Instant On series is all about. This access point can support up to 75 devices over Wi-Fi 6, and you can add seven additional access points. And they have a really great smart mesh feature. Mesh meaning your instant on devices will basically decide the best access point for your Wi-Fi device to connect to, to give you and your customers the best signal and coverage. Now with AP27 meant for outdoor use, think of areas like restaurants or maybe outdoor golf courses. Is. Having access to Wi-Fi can be extremely beneficial for employees and customers. And using a series like Instanon makes it easy to manage as well. Plus, one of the benefits is it is being powered through Ethernet. So that means less cabling, which is always a positive. And their application is pretty easy to use. There are already two separate networks configured, one for employees and one for guests. From a security perspective, that is great because you want to have separation from devices like your cash register and your customer's laptops. You can also see what devices are connected to the network and block specific clients that you do not want to have access to the network. And you even have the ability to limit the hours through power over ethernet scheduling. So when you don't want these access points to be available and accessible after business hours, you can schedule that easily on the application. This is another great security feature from HP. This access point will be a game changer in my space it will expand my network outdoors and support more devices, including my IP cameras. If you would like to learn more about the Instant On series or purchase the access point that I've shown in this video, the AP27, I will link some great resources below for you. And thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you learned something new and uh, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.